Hi, I'm Sam Thurgan, and welcome to my two minutes parasha. In this week's Sidra of Noach, we read about the famous Amigdal Babel, the Tower of Babel, where these people tried to build this tower to the sky to make a name for themselves, and Hashem instead scatters them across the earth and confuses their languages. The question that many of the commentators ask is, what did they do wrong? There does not seem to be significant evidence in the text itself saying what they did wrong. Rashi famously says they wanted to build the tower to go up to the heavens to wage war against God. But where we find that in the, in the actual verses in the Psukim, it's difficult to see. The Ibn Ezra has a different and fascinating idea, which I think is very helpful to understand in our own lives. The Ibn Ezra says they did not sin and the scattering was not a punishment. They made a mistake. It was what I'm going to call an innocent mistake. They thought they were doing the right thing. They thought that the best way to build a society was by concentrating all the people and all the power in one place. And through this, we will build something special forever. And Hashem was saying to them, no, that is not how I want the world to be built. I want humanity to be spread across the entire world with all of the different nations, with all of the different languages. And Hashem was saying to them, what you're doing is not correct. The reason I think this is so important is because what the Ibn Ezra is saying is that what they understand as a punishment, Hashem is telling them is a lesson. Hashem says, saying to them essentially, I'm not punishing you, I'm not angry with you, you didn't do anything wrong. Well, you did something wrong. You didn't do anything bad. You didn't do anything wicked. You did something wrong. And so, let me teach you. Let me correct you. Let me set you on a different path. How could our lives be different? The next time something doesn't go our way, we're able to say to ourselves, perhaps Hashem is not punishing me. Perhaps Hashem is not angry with me. Perhaps Hashem is simply teaching me a better way. Shabbat Shalom.